En el baño. En el baño. No sé si me fuerza, pero tal vez quiera. Pero está tranquilo. Ya estuvo. Va. Comienza. Uh -huh. Ya hizo. Más bien me conmigo.
Hello, good evening, guys. Um, we're going to start a new English class. This is the class number three. So um, we're going to study some other topics. And it is important uh, to say that yesterday I had some difficulties with my internet. So sorry for that. Um, around my neighborhood, there was... Uh, a shortage of internet. I don't know why it happened. I guess it was uh, because of the rain was coming. So, so sorry for that, but fortunately we were about to finish, right? So here we have Guillermo, good evening. Good evening teacher. Okay. So nice, how was your day? It was fine. Normal day, a common day. Yeah, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> okay, a lot of work. Yeah, you were not boring. No. Okay. Not boring, not bored. Okay, and thank you. Here we have John, Andre, Daniel, Rivas, Susie, and Kathy. Okay, so this, uh, well, this is the class number three. And we're going to check this. Sorry. Yeah, this is the class number three. And the topic is how to use imperatives. The imperatives are verbs that seem like orders. Verbs that act like orders. Okay. So uh, to start, I need you to write in the chat three requests from your boss. I mean... What is a request? Request is something that your boss, your supervisor, your coordinator asks you. Lo que les pide. ¿Qué les pide el jefe? ¿Qué les pide un supervisor? Okay. To send the reports, uh, present on time, attend meeting, uh, check the inventory, maybe attend clients. Son solicitudes o pueden ser también órdenes que ustedes reciben de sus, de, from your supervisors, superiors, or bosses. For example, attend meeting. Or could it be visit customers? Or it can be send the report okay so i need you to uh, write like this similar okay three requests or orders from your supervisors or from your boss okay i'm going to be waiting for your answer please andre john daniel rivas susie katia uh, rosalie and guillermo okay my friends please Teacher, una pregunta, eh, ¿todos debemos hacer eso? Sí, sí, eh, lo que tienen que hacer es escribir, así como lo acaba de hacer Daniel, ¿verdad? Escribir en el chat, hay que escribir en el chat tres solicitudes o órdenes, también pueden ser u órdenes que reciben, ¿verdad? De, de sus superiores, solicitudes, ¿ok? okay. Bueno.
Okay, let's listen to the request that you have to hear or to read from emails every day or almost every week, okay? So on this time, here we have Daniel, please, and then Guillermo. Tell me what your boss or your coordinator asks you, please. Arrive early, right? Arrive early, attend clients, and drive slowly. Really? And you don't like to drive slowly, right? Okay. See, yeah, drive <laughs> slow, slowly. Okay, but, yeah. Uh, 10, 80, ah, go, come on. 80. 80, come on, mm -hmm. Daniel, be careful. Okay, thank you. And Guillermo and then Rivas. Okay, answer the phone, write a report, call me later. Call me later, okay. Call me later sounds like problems. Okay, let's listen to Rivas and Susi. The teacher deliver reports, the board is in Excel, it processes audit. Okay, wow, very specific, thank you. Okay, Susi is not available. And what about Katia and Rosalie? Okay, she asked me look for the documents that I already give you. <laughs> Take care <laughs> or receive the document and attend meeting. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, okay, specific. Uh, Rosalie and Andre. You need to provide your staff at the end and give instructions. Thank you. Andre, and then we go with Maritza. Okay, maybe Andre is not ready. Let's listen to Maritza, please. Okay. And email at for the voucher and review the information. Review the information. Okay, yeah. That's something that is kind of very common before you present some reports or a presentation. Okay, Andre, are you ready to mention the request you yeah. were asked, please? Yeah, keep clean the area. Mm -hmm. uh, follow the manuals and sign the word done. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Andre. Right. So, uh, normally, we say my boss asks, it's a verb asks, being strange because ask, but it is like third person, we have to add a letter S, okay? The letter S. So, my boss asked me, the question asks me, okay, to attend meeting with customers and reports and the others that you mentioned, okay? So practically, this is part of what you do every day or at least every week. Well, I'm going to check the attendance list and here we have this. Always related to telephone language, something that we that it is really useful when we want to make special requests. Cuando queremos hacer solicitudes especiales. Number one, could you please repeat that? Would you mind spelling that for me? Could you speak up a little, please? Can you speak a little slower, please? And um, my English isn't very strong. Can you call me back? I think we have a bad connection. Can you please hold for a minute? I have another call. Es bien común. Hold for a minute. Es esperar. Ponerla en espera. I'm going to repeat. Could you please repeat that? Would you mind spend, spelling that for me? Could you speak up a little, please? Can you speak a little slower, please? My English isn't very strong. Can you call me back? I think we have bad connection. Can you please hold for a minute? I have another call. Okay, so I'm going to check the attendance list and you tell me if you are here or not. We start with Cristina. Cristina, I guess, is not here, right? I'm here in teaching. Oh, hello, Cristina. Okay. How are you? 
I'm really good. What about you? Are you good? Okay. Can you mention one of these? One of these phrases? Um, can you speak a little slower, please? Thank you. Okay, we go with Luisa. I don't know if Luisa is here. If Luisa is not ready, let's go with Andre. Okay, Andre. Hello, Andre. Hello, Andre. Yes, Thank you. Okay, ah, okay. Okay. Understand. What about the phrase? ¿Cuál, cuál selecciona? Eh, pues, eh, can you speak a little slower, please? My English is not very strong. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Rivas, you go. Present teacher, could you please repeat that? Very nice. Thank you. Daniel, your turn. Hi. Hi, I'm here. Uh, can you call me back? I think we have a bad connection. Nice. Wonderful. Thank you. David, do we have David now? Maybe not, right? Okay. And Evelyn? Yes, right, Evelyn? Um, would you mind doing that for me? Mm -hmm. Would you mind? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Okay, Guillermo? Hello, teacher. Um, could you please repeat that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, here we have John as well. Hello, John. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Um, I choose, let me see. Uh, could you, can you speak a little slower, please? My yeah. English isn't that strong. Thank you. Very nice. Katya. Hi, good evening. Can you please hold for a minute? I have another call. Nice. Sounds really good. Maritza, hello there. Hello. Could you speak up a little, please? Yeah, thank you. Okay, Gustavo, hello there. Hello, teacher. Uh, good evening. Can you call me back? Thank you. Uh, Oscar Daniel? I guess no. Okay. Um, what about? Uh, yes. yes, yes, teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, Call, call you speak up a little, please. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay, Eduardo. I don't know if Eduardo. Is. Hi, hey. teacher. Hello, Eduardo. Thank you. Okay. Can you please hold for a minute? I have a call. Mm -hmm. Good one. Thank you. Rosalie. Hi. Good evening, present. Thank you. Would you mind spell, spelling for that for me? Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. And Susie, right? The Susie is like um, as a listener. Okay. So thank you. Here we have to start. Uh, we already mentioned three requests from your bus. Okay. David, hello, my friend. Finally here, right? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, David. I'm going to present you what the phrases, the phrases. Please select one of these. Uh, uh, first phrase, uh, could please repeat that? Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Now we're talking about requests. Um, things that your boss or supervisor asks. Okay. So I need you to do this. If your boss uh, like do it correctly si su jefe les pide las cosas correctamente do this but if your boss asks you negatively si lo pide de manera negativa comúnmente commonly necesito thumb down el pulgar abajo ok please 
I want to see. If your boss is good asking things, requesting things, yeah, thumb up, pulgar arriba. But but if your boss is really bad, it's like, I don't know, like very negative, it is like angry all the time, please thumb down, okay? So yeah, Daniel, Carlos, Oscar, no problem. John, okay, Cristina, no problem. Yeah, Eduardo, yes. Well, you, you have like good coordinators, but sometimes you don't have, for example, Rosalind is the says, well, my boss or my, my coordinator is not like very assertive. No es muy asertivo. Okay, uh, Maritza, no problem. Evelyn, very nice, good. So that's good. Katia says, well, uh, she has difficulties maybe with her boss or his, uh, her boss, uh, no, I don't know if uh, it's a man or a woman. Katia, your boss is a man or a woman? A woman. Okay, thank you. Rosalie is the same boss, right? The same coordinator. Yes, woman. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you for sharing. I know sometimes we have difficult bosses, right? Okay, um, we go with this. Um, here we have this. Look, what is the first thing you pay attention when you buy a product. What is the most important thing for you? Okay. Uh, maybe it will be the price. Uh, quality. Guarantee. Uh, could it be material? Could it be also offer? And also, could it be a marketing? Okay, you tell me. What is the first thing you pay attention when buying something? Okay, Guillermo, in your case, what do you take into account before you buy something? And then we go with David. I think the price and the quality. Okay, price and quality. It's like a balance you make. You know. Or bad. Thank you, David and Cristina. Uh, I think teacher uh, quality and marketing. Okay. And marketing. Thank you, uh, Christy and Maritza. What about you? Teacher, I don't you understand. Okay. Uh, when you buy something, for example, cell phone. Uh, TV or pair of shoes, what do you take into account? Price, quality. ¿Qué tomas en cuenta de comprar? Before you buy something. Um, quality. Okay, quality. Okay, nice. Uh, Maritza, let's listen to Katia. Okay, Maritza. Price and quality. Okay, price and quality, it's important for you. Thank you. Katia, what about you? Um, price, quality, price. and material. Oh, yeah, material. Thank you. What about, uh, um, let's see, Rivas, and then we go with Eduardo. Okay, Rivas. Price, okay. price quality, and offers. Ah, uh, yeah, offers are really, really nice. And here we have Eduardo and then Rosalie. I think it's important price and marketing. Okay, thank you. Rosalie, what about you? Um, I think price, mm -hmm. quality, and warranty. Okay, I guess we have like a pyramid of importance categories for example price everybody say, says price is important yeah nobody can deny it Nadie lo puede negar. and quality okay guarantee material offers of course offers are important so 
you can notice, you can see it is worthy, si vale la pena. Yeah, it's worthy, so yeah, you can buy it, especially if uh, it is on offer. Okay, thank you. Here we have a conversation, and in this case, here we have uh, Miss Nunez and Miss uh, Roland. So they use uh, imperatives, okay? Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez, and I'm going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the con uh, conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongs and pick every piece of chocolate. Read uh, this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specifications in the chart. Third, place the defective chocolate in the funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the defective pieces. So basically, Ms. Nunez is um, explaining uh, instructions to Mr. Roland that he is new in the plant, okay? So it is like very important to pay attention to the instructions, especially when you are new. Okay, so I guess um, it is like very simple. Okay, the instruction, push this red button. Okay, presiona el botón rojo. Grab a pair of tongs, que es, eh, toma como un par de tenazas. Okay, and pick every piece of chocolate. Okay, so you can notice that this is a factory and they are producing chocolate. Okay, read this chart and check every piece. So, eh, he has to check, he has to supervise that. Uh, place the defective chocolate in this funnel, so uh, this person has uh, also to separate some product that it is defective. So I guess it's very clear, very, very simple. We're going to have a practice about this. So um, talking about imperatives, look at this. The imperatives are orders and they don't need subject. They don't need another thing. Simplemente los imperativos son órdenes. Son secuencias. So they are sequences. And here we have this push, grab, pick, check, place, fill. Okay. Similar to the imperatives that you were uh, mentioning. Uh, a couple of minutes ago, while your bosses ask you, okay, I will need you to please send this um this image. Okay, thank you, Maritza. We're going to practice this in pairs. Okay, so I'm going... yeah, and repeat, please, a uh, word. In the last paragraph of Miss Nunez, first, you are in charge of stopping the com. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Uh, Convior. Mm -hmm. Convior. Convior. Uh -huh. Convior. Okay. Convior. Uh, yes. It is a uh, transportador. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank es you. Como cinta transportadora. Okay. Okay, so here we have conveyor, and you can say conveyor as well. Remember that English and British will have like different, so conveyor, conveyor, and belts. Okay, uh, defective, maybe, mm -hmm. if you have some difficulties. So uh, we're going to practice a little bit uh, related to this. Please um, try to, try, well, change uh, the change uh, or switch your parts okay 
so you can practice better. And see you in a couple of seconds. Well, a couple of minutes. Eh, Cristina, uh, te envié la solicitud. Hola, Cristina. Eh, ¿Puedes aceptar la solicitud, please?
Okay, let's listen to some of you. And before uh, the others appear, so here we have this. And Guillermo, who was your classmate who you were uh, practicing? It was, let me see. You don't remember? Okay. I don't remember. Wait. Mm -hmm. I will tell you. With Rivas. He's Carlos. Yes. yes. Carlos, Carlos Rivas. Carlos Rivas. That he's going to appear in a couple of seconds. So, let's see. Good for you that you practiced and very specific imperatives. But, um, uh, okay, Rivas, are you there? Hello? Hello, teacher. Okay, please, you're going to practice with Guillermo, the conversation. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is your first day at? The plan, my name is Nunez, and I am going to explain what you must do in the production line. Nice to meet you, uh, Miss Nunez. Where do we start? First, you are in charge of stopping the conversion belt. Please push the red button. Second, grab a pair of stone and pick every piece of chocolate. Read the chart and check every piece. My sure is meet the specification in sharp theater play detective chalk in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the I have the detective piece. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Uh, you did it really good. Now, maybe we can have the participation of David. I with that. Uh -huh. Who was your classmate? Daniel. Daniel, hola, okay. Hola. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Peace. Okay. Okay, listo. Ya hablamos. I'm sorry. <laughs> But teacher, next, next. Next, next, okay. Conversation. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, do. <laughs> uh, yes, internet difficulties. Money. Okay, my friend, please. Yeah. Action. Hello, Mr. Roland. Today is a first day. First day at the plant. My name is Miss Nunez. And I am going to explain that you must do in the production line. To me, you, Mr. John Nunez, no, where do you start? First, you are in the chair of stop the conveyor belt. Please push this red button. Second, grab a pair of tongues and pick every piece of chocolate. Read this chart and check every piece. Make sure it meets the specification in this chart. Third, Place the defective chocolate in this funnel. Finally, fill in a report at the end of the day about the effect, defective piece. Yeah, thank you. Pieces. Uh huh. Okay. So okay. basically, thank you, my friends. Basically, this person, Mr. Roland, is going to work on on a conveyor belt, que es como una cinta transportadora and he's going to pick and to do some other things okay here we have these uh, three questions who is responsible for stopping the conveyor belt two what are some of the mr roland's responsibilities three what kind of machinery is there in your workplace okay so uh let's see Can you tell me, Maritza, one or two, maybe? Who is responsible for stopping? Or what are some of Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Mr. Roland. Okay. What are uh, Mr. Roland's responsibilities? Can you mention one or two? 
Ah, you answer number one. Respondiste la número uno, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Ajá, yeah. pues. Yeah, no, thank you. No. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. And yes, now. Let me teach you. How, have a question. Yes, Christy. <clears throat> Teacher. Um, yo no tengo descargado, no sé dónde está el manual. El, el manual. Ok, déjame ¿Qué? revisar. Creo que lo enviaron al inicio al grupo. Déjame revisar. Es que, bueno, yo entré quizás el propio día, pero al WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Entonces no, no lo tengo. Si me lo comparte, porfa. Ok. En la plataforma, Cristina. También en la plataforma no, está. No, solo, ah, en la plataforma. Solo me metí a hacer directo los... Tareas, ok, no thank you. Sí, ahí ya te lo compartieron. Ajá. Ok, También... gracias. Ok, thank you. Very nice. And let's continue. Now, here we have this. What kind of machinery is there in your workplace? No sé si algunos de ustedes trabajan con algún tipo de maquinaria en sus trabajos. Maybe we can... Yes, teacher. Injection yes. machine. Ah, injection machines. Okay. Thank you, Rivas. And does anybody have uh, experience with machinery in your workplace? Mm, besides Rivas? I don't know. Maybe Daniel? No. No, teacher. No. Okay. Okay, so in this case, it yes, does. Uh -huh. Tell me what type, ¿Qué tipo? what kind of, Rosalie? Uh, the in that, in the mar market, in that. Ah, oh, really? Box. In that box. Okay. In the, the plant production, in the packaging. Hmm? Okay, packaging. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, we have two participants who has that. Okay, thank you. We're going to start with the speaking activities. If you have only 40, uh, 48 hours to live, two days, two days, right? What would you do? What would you do? Okay, so maybe we can start asking to Katya and then John. Okay, Katia, any idea what would you do with two days before you say goodbye? I don't know. <laughs> yes, you I know. Well, mention two day. things. <laughs> two or three things. Come on, you can do it. Then we have John. Cry all day. <laughs> Cry all day. What about your, your boyfriend, your husband, your family, your pet? No? I, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Well, I can imagine like 10 things I would do. But uh, Katia says just praying, praying all, all day. Okay. Uh, what about John? And then we go Rosalie. Okay. Question very difficult. Very, very difficult. Very yes. Difficult. But um. First, first, um, I would, I go, I would visit the beach with my family. Mm -hmm. With your family. Um, then, and I, I would spend a few yeah with my mother, my mother, rem, remis, remisins. Remy reminiscing okay um about the past and and then and I I say I said goodbye in my enemies <laughs> okay the enemies and, yes I said goodbye okay 
and fin and finally um I could be with my wife in my son. Okay. Waiting for the for the moment to okay. say final goodbye. Very specific. Thank you, John. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That was very curious related to your enemies. Okay. Uh, the, uh, and also <laughs> with the people who gave you loans. Los que te dieron préstamos también. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> See you never. Okay. Thank you, John. Uh, what about Rosalie and Guillermo? I would quit or renunciar. Quit. Yeah, yeah, quit. Quit with my job <laughs> and spend <laughs> all all the time with my son, my parents, my husband. And I will also take a picture mm -hmm. of myself smiling so that when my son grabs up, he will remember me like this with a smile. With a smile, happy, living happily, okay, enjoying life. Very interesting because you are thinking about your son and how he is going to uh, remember the moment, the last moment with you. Thank you, Rosalie. Very, very profound and deep. Thank you. And Guillermo, and then we go with Maritza. Okay. I, I will go on a trip with my family to a quiet place to enjoy the time that I have left in this world. Okay. And I will eat uh, everything that I love I will take a picture with my family and that's all. Something interesting in your answer is that you're talking about quiet place. It's it, it's really nice because in quiet place you can have very calm talks, very good conversations yes. and profound, right? So it, it is like, yeah, nice, nice idea. Yeah, I like it. Thank you, Guillermo. Okay, we we'll go with Maritza and then David. As I would go to the beautiful place, see the sunset, and visit my family and the people I appreciate. Appreciate, yeah, people you love, you like, appreciate, okay. Yeah, nice, Marita. Okay, good. For your, not your enemies, no, right? Not for your enemies. I don't have. <laughs> okay, I don't have. Well, at least you know. You know, you yes. know that you don't know. Okay, thank you, Marita. Yo creo. Yo creo, I guess. Okay, nice. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you can have enemies for free, the gratis. I don't know. People are really crazy. Okay. Um. What about David? And then we go with Christy. Yeah, David. Okay, tell teacher, us. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, I think that uh, uh, if I only had 40, 48 hours to live, I would take uh, out a loan and go al uh go on a long walk oh, and geez. that and that is the insurance pays the debit. So, <laughs> so you're going to have money two days before you say goodbye and you can go travel with your family and the insurance the seguro is going to cover all the loan. <laughs> <laughs> David is yeah. really clever. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be sure that the insurance covers that. If, if that happens, oh, okay. it will be like a really good idea because you can enjoy. Really good. Thank you, David. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Christy, and then we go with Rivas. Okay. Hi, teacher. What stream did? uh put it to use 
Um, yeah, I know. Uh, first, uh, God for forgiveness. Uh, then get my family together and thanks for all. Um, and finally, it's something I like and the respective people. Okay. Yeah, the, the respective picture. Okay, yeah, I like it. Why not? So, um, you have like good ideas. Yeah, you have good ideas about this. Hello, I'm sorry again. I guess uh, tonight is not a good day for my internet. So let's see if we can continue with the class. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. Mister, you can hear me. Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know what is happening. But we have difficulties. Thank you, Christy. Fue lo último que te escuché. Okay. Um, let's see if. Uh, David, can you hear me? Puedes escucharme, David. Okay. Okay, Christy, tú sí me escuchas. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a reportar este problema. Teacher, no se escucha muy bien su audio. Permítame. Ok, me dicen si me escuchan cortado, no sé si hay difícil. Y si se conecta con datos. De hecho, estoy con datos. inicia el router. De hecho, estoy con datos, porque mi internet ajá, ha estado bien inestable. He tenido muchas dificultades, entonces. O, o ponga en pausa la película de descarga, teacher. <risa> no, si sí estamos, estamos teniendo dificultades aquí con esto. <risa> Pero sí se ha cortado, teacher. Ok, permítanme. Estás descargando muchas películas. 
Yo creo que ese es el relajo, permítame. Sí, sucede. Hello, my friends. Ya vi cuál es el problema. Lo siento, disculpen. Okay, teacher. Mm, I'm sorry. Mm, teacher. Estaba, estaba... Ve, ve movie de un lado. Oh, no. Ah, qué bien, qué genial. Estoy con datos. I'm with my credit internet. But the, uh, the problem is that there is another signal. Otra señal se me interpuso y la computadora se conectó a otras, a otra. A otro wifi todo extraño pero si sí estoy con mis datos so, uh, I'm so sorry eh, ¿Pueden escucharme David? ¿Sí me escuchan? Yes yeah. yeah, okay. Yes Ok Sorry Pero denme un segundo voy a Voy a revisar esto Permítanme Ok, now, yeah, we, we, are, we are, espero que estemos bien. Ok, um, vamos a ver. Uh, Guillermo, si ¿sí me escuchas, ahora sí. Todo nice, everything ok? Yes, sure. Ok, thank you. Everything we want to check, uh, ok, perfect. How to use imperatives, here we have. Use imperatives to give an order, es para dar una orden, ok. To give instructions, para dar indicaciones. Or to make invitations, o para hacer invitaciones. Imperatives don't, don't know how to have subject. Quiere decir que no tiene un sujeto. Imperatives no quiere decir you, she, I. Simplemente son órdenes. Tenemos example. Eh, Daniel, can you read example number one, please? Number one, read the chart and check every piece. Thank you. Uh, let's listen here to, uh, maybe we can have the participation of Eduardo. Unplug. Unplug. Okay. Unplug this cord and connect the blue one. Blue one. Okay. So that's why here we have the word um, unplug. Let's see. I get that it's unplugged. There are concerts. In which uh, they uh, play the music in a different form, in another, yeah, in, in maybe softer, ¿verdad? Los upload son los de MTV, los son los desenchufados. So, for example, Nirvana, Shakira, Café Tacuba, all of them have upload. Entonces, en este caso, upload es desenchufar. Okay. Thank you, Eduardo. And we go with Rosalie, number three. Um, yeah, number two, I'm sorry. Phil. Filling in a report about the defective piece. Thank you. And here we have number four. Verify the oil level. This is important, especially in cars, right? Yeah, very important. So in this case, uh, it is like orders. And here we have this part. Look at this. 
here we have a diagram how his chocolate product is made. Label each step in order using the words in the diagram, okay? So uh, here we have some words, separate, check, label, assemble, round, mix, form. Separate is similar to Espanol, separar, okay? Check, revisar, label, etiquetar, assemble, eh, ensamblar, unir, ground, agarrar, mix, eh, mezclar, form, okay, formar. So take a look at this and we're going to check uh, the answers for this. Please, my friend. Okay, let's listen to some of your opinions. And here we have like six options. Uh, Guillermo, yeah, what number? And the number four. Yeah. Mix the powder with milk. That's correct. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, mix the, yeah, the powder with milk. Thank you. Uh, who else? Mm, Rosalie, please. Number five. Mm -hmm. Label, label, and the chocolate package to finish. Okay, number five. Okay, almost, and here we have assemble. It is like very confusing, right? It's assemble, but yeah, it it is like, it seems like label, but it is assembled chocolate package to finish. Okay, yeah, maybe, but thank you. We can have Maritza and Rivas. Or Andre, okay, Andre. One number, number seven, second yes. is mix. Number two, mix. Okay, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yes, mix. It's uh, used two times. Rivas, number please. Number seven, teacher. Number seven, level the package. Yeah, that's it. Correct. Okay, good. Maybe we can have. Uh, yeah, maybe Maritza, Eduardo, Gustavo, I don't know. We have one, two, three. We have label, mix, two times, assemble, separate. Okay. Teacher, um, um, before the last Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, before the last, uh, assemble the package. Okay. No, no, te sería, no sería form, porque si solo hay un assemble. Yeah. Form the package. Mm -hmm. Okay. Form the package. Yeah, that's it. Form. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we have just check and ground. Maybe a simple path. Uh, which one? Number three. Mm, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. One, mm -hmm. two, three, five, six. Yeah. What could it be? 
maybe check. Okay. Yes, David, what about you? Teacher, I think uh, uh, number uh, one, two, three, four. I think that number seven, no, no, not level. I think uh, check quality okay. in quality. You control. consider it is check? Yeah, me too. I consider that it is check as well. But here I have the yes. the the key. Aquí tengo la, la respuesta y aparece label. But I consider it is like check the uh, quality quality control. But could it be? Yes. But uh, thank you. And the last one it is ground here. Eh, yo creo que hemos encontrado. I don't know. We're going to check this later. But we have found like some mistakes. Ya hemos encontrado un par de errores en los, en los manuales. Creo que se han dado cuenta, ¿verdad? Sometimes it happens. Yeah, but well. Thank you for your answers. Um, we're going to, ah, de igual manera, a similar way in the platform and la plataforma a veces hay, hay, hay problemas, hay errores, right? So, well. And... Okay, we're going to do this later. But here we have this. Um, if you have only 48 hours to live, what would you do? Creo que me había quedado en la última. Creo que Rivas le había preguntado. No, Rivas, if you, I, you, you couldn't. Hey, hey, teacher, go to see a sunrise on the beach and the climb a mountain and stay yeah. contemplating the landscape until sunset and comment myself to go. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a movie. Yeah, like appreciating the sunset, okay? And having like a good uh, landscape. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay, and we're going to listen to Evelyn and then Daniel. Evelyn, what would you do if you have 48 hours, all of those días, before you say goodbye to this world? Uh, share a lot with my family to class. Oh, eat a lot to die happy. <laughs> eat a lot. Yeah, whatever you want, whatever comes to your mind. Yes, I will do it. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Daniel and then uh, Gustavo. Okay, um, in this case, um, I would take advantage of every second with my parents and my wife, and I will live related to my daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Families first. Thank you. Gustavo, and after Gustavo, we go with Eduardo. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Enjoy with my, my family. As if they were the the last uh, forty eight hours uh, of of life, uh, do do everything that makes us happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Uh, good, good point of view. Uh, Eduardo and Oscar Daniel. Okay, Eduardo, you ready with your answer? Okay, teacher. Uh, if I have only 48 hours, I don't say to anyone. Uh, in the first night, I make a party with all my family, with all my friends, and the, and the people I, I, I know. Uh, the second day in the morning, I get out with my family to drive all the morning uh, to any one place. And in the afternoon, I get out with my sons. And the night, I get out with my, uh, how do you say, with my wife. Your wife, okay. To dinner, uh, we, uh -huh, we, we go to the beach. And we come to sleep with my family. And I think this, I, I do this 
Uh, let me tell you, Eduardo, that your answer is very complete. You have a really good routine. First day, don't say to anybody what is going on, what is happening. Yes. Just have fun. Enjoy. And the, the last day, yes, and take advantage. Yeah. I like your plan. I would like to do it as well, the way you mentioned. Thank you. Oscar, okay. Daniel, and then we finish with Andre. Oscar, Daniel, are you ready with your answer? Yes, teacher. Um, uh, in my case, um, uh, uh, I will... Okay, okay. I'm so sorry, uh, Oscar. I could listen the first part, but not the last part. No te puedo escuchar la última parte, Oscar Daniel. I'm sorry. Uh, repeat, teacher. Uh, oh, okay, yes. La primera parte te escuché, la última parte. Give give the, the new and my family, my friends, um, finally write the testament. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree with that. You finally, would uh, write your testament. Imagine how important you are. The first person that mentioned the testament. And it is it is good to say goodbye, to have fun with your family, but also after you die, yeah, it is good to detail the things that uh maybe if you have some actives, si algunos activos, if you have debt, si tienes deudas, son all those. A lot of things that you can do. Thank you. And we're going to go with this. What's the name of this song? Rivas, uh, I told you yesterday that maybe you could help us right here. I know yes, that. Teacher. Are you ready? I can present the screen. Yes, you can present uh, the screen. I'm going to check something here. No, me deja, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, now you can do it. Please. Ya puedo, teacher, sí. Sí, sí, ya puedo, ya habilité. Okay. ¿Me ven la pantalla, teacher? Yes, we can see it. Sí, podemos ver. I'll be there for you by Bon Jovi. Ok, but we are checking, ahorita solo estamos viendo, este, ¿cómo se llama lo de Zoom? La pantalla de Zoom. No estamos viendo la letra. No me ven la pantalla. No, solo vemos donde dice no Zoom. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Permítame, teacher. Voy ok. A ver. Y, ¿qué más? Quiero ver. No problem. Remember, you are the first one. Recuerda que tú eres el primero, así que relax. Y ahora, no, teacher. No. No, no te ve. Es que creo Voy que a... creo que no estás proyectando la tu tu archivo de Word, no sé. Ok, ok. Voy a intentar eh... de nuevo. Y no diga el nombre de la canción. Ok. <risa> Voy a okay. ver. Vaya, vaya. Si lo estás haciendo, si lo estás haciendo desde el cel, no. 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 Okay. ¿Desde qué lo estás haciendo? Desde si la computadora. Desde la computadora. Tengo dos pantallas. Vaya, voy a explicar, voy a explicar. Eh, estás aquí, mira, es, estás aquí. Y luego lo que tenés que hacer es darle este compartir. Y cuando sí, le das sure. compartir, ajá, aquí te puede aparecer los, ¿cómo se llama? Lo que tenés, ¿verdad? 
si tenés aquí la videoconferencia, ¿sí? tenés opciones. Si la tenés, ajá, pues le puedes dar escritorio, ¿verdad? O pantalla acá. Y te screen sale. Screen le voy a dar, ajá. Ajá, ajá, veamos ajá, ajá screen. Es. Eso. Hoy sí, teacher. Vaya, veamos acá. Vaya, ahí vemos. Sí. Ahí está. Sí, ¿verdad? Ahí vemos tu escritorio. Sí, sí. sí, muy bien. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Vamos a ver qué tenemos por acá. Eh, recuerda que... Sí, recuerda que no podemos poner música, ¿verdad? Lastimosamente, pero sí vamos a ver la letra acá. Eh, ¿Puedes indicarnos entonces algunas palabras que identificas? The grammatical eh, aisle, uh -huh. future, eh, yeah. their impersonal subject to talk about the existence of present of some, someone. Yeah. Eh, I swear, swear, eh, simple present, eh, to preposition, I'll, eh, contention, I have, die, Simple present, mm -hmm. can't, on a verb, and yeah. still simple present. I'll yeah. be there for you by believing. Yes. I'll be there for you by words I swear to you. When you read, I want to wear the eye for you. i be there for you. I lie and die for you. I steal the sun from the sky for you. Work can stay, what love can do. I'll be there for you. Solo un poquito, lo vas a teacher. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, yeah, very interesting song. It's a romantic, it's a ballad. Rock ballad. Yes, from Bon Jovi. Thank you. Very well yes, done. Teacher. Bien hecho, bien hecho. Thank you. Solo que okay, Rosalino teacher. quería el nombre, quería, ella quería adivinar cuál era, dice. Pero está bien, pero muy bien. Okay? Okay. So, thank you, uh, for doing, believe me, it is not uh, easy to do it as first. Es como el primero que pasa a exponer siempre. The first one is like very, uh, uh, well, sometimes it happens that it is not so good at the beginning, but thank you, Rivas, you did it really good. Gracias. Eh, tenemos pendiente lo de Christy, ¿verdad? Christy, ¿podrías pasar mañana? Yes, I'm ready. <clears throat> okay, but if you want, Yeah, you can pass tomorrow. Así tenemos más días para ir pasando uno por día. ¿Se puede, Cristina? Ah, okay. yeah, please. Tomorrow. Thank you. Yes. Tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you very much. So, what's the name of this song? It's uh, I'll Be There For You from Bon Jovi. Yes. One of, one of the best ballads that we have. Thank you. Okay. What about this? Imperative verbs or bossy verbs. Son los verbos como mandones. Así se podría traducir. Are words that tell the people what to do. We use them a lot in our instructions. Click the bottom, open the box, mix the ingredients, cook for 25 minutes, fold the paper, que doblar, eh, stick the pieces together. So if you notice, it's like instructions. It's like instructions. And they are like bossy verbs. Here we have some examples. Look at this. Uh, bossy but imperative verbs. Look at this. All of these verbs are very useful when we want to use uh, instructions or steps for doing something. Okay. So in this case, here we have a person... Maybe we can have Eduardo that helped me reading this part. Imperative verbs are also known. Could you help me, please, Eduardo? Yes, yes. Thank you. Imperative yes. verbs are also known as passive verbs because they tell you what to do. We put them at the beginning of a sentence, which change them into commands or action that must be done. Thank you. Yes. Commands are like, bueno, son los comandos, son órdenes. <clears throat> okay. So you, here we have add, bake, bake, buy, behave. Okay. So I need you to, well, tell me at least uh, 
two options, two imperatives. Vamos a utilizar esos verbos. So we can uh, use, for example, turn right. And the other is stick. Okay, I use two of these verbs. Necesito que utilicen dos de estos verbos y háganme dos eh, imperativos. Yo le puse turn right, gira a la derecha, or stick the pieces, eh, ¿verdad? Pega las piezas. Okay, you can have bake, buy, close, eh, chop, que es cortar. Okay, thank you. We have a lot. Eh, yeah. Flip, explain, jump. I'm going to wait for your answers. Espero sus respuestas acá en el chat. Just select two. Okay, let's listen to some of your options. Let's see here. Uh, Oscar Daniel, put your read yours, and then we have Christy. Um, hi. Okay, thank you. Um, Listen, listen music. to this music. Listen to this music. Thank you. Okay, Cristina and Guillermo. Are sentences, teacher? Mm, lo que pasa es que los imperatives se utilizan no solo la palabra, sino con un complemento. Así como ves tu compañero, si quieres, eh, piénsalas y después me dices. Eh, okay. Guillermo and Luisa. Okay, throw the ball. And close the door. Thank you. Luisa and Eduardo. Okay, bake the, the cake for 30 minutes. Okay, and good. And? But I only what is necessary. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, Eduardo and Daniel. I pay... Move the table and uh -huh. shut up. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I, I have a question about about this because shut up. Uh, it is it I is not understand. polite. Uh huh. 
Eh, shut es solo cerrar. Shut, ¿verdad? Cerrar. But shut up es como cierra la boca. So that's not so polite. That's kind of informal. And that is commonly when a person is angry. Cuando una persona está enojada. When that person is angry and rude y es pesada, can say that. Okay, but yeah, it's an imperative, of course. Sí, es un imperativo. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. And here we have um, Luisa. Or David, I guess. Right, okay, Daniel. right. Write the report and stand up. Thank you. Okay, Christy. No sé si está. And then Luisa. Okay, Christy. Yes. And Michael stops jumping on the bed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Luisa and David. Eh, teacher, yo ya pasé. Ah, es cierto. Thank you. David and Andre. Okay. Eat the cake. Eh, listen to music. Thank you. Andre and Rosalie. Go to the world all day. Hmm? Um, drink beers. Okay, that's it. That's obligation. Interesting. Thank you. That's an obligation. Rosalie and Maritza. Put on the shirt. Yeah. And stand still. Thank you. Maritza and Rivas. Listen to the instruction. Do the homework. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Stand up and get up in the morning. Yes, good. And Evelyn? The dream is up. Okay. Um, there is a song from Bob Marley. It's Get Up, Stand Up. So it is like a, a, a song in which you can y listen to the imperatives get up stand up yeah so in song we have a lot of examples okay my friends uh, let's move here we have just 25 minutes 25 minutes y terminamos talk about a film that you love you can say whatever you want related to a film that you really like in this case maybe we can start with Daniel and then we go with Eduardo. Okay, Daniel. Any film that you love? Any movie that you really like? One second, please. Okay, I'm going to give you time. No problem. Uh, Eduardo. And after Eduardo, we go with Maritza. The film, what I like. Uh, it is interstellar. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can you mention something about this? Why do you like? Oh. Uh, I like because it's a movie about the science fiction. What do you yeah, say? Science, science fiction. Mm -hmm. Science fiction. And the sequence of the movie is very interesting because the I have to make many to pay many attention about the the about anything what is happening in the movie and in the this in uh, well well it's very interesting is a movie to have a story no usual mm -hmm. and yes then then end of the movie is something what uh, uh, I can imagine uh, is happening in the train of the uh, of the movie. Yes. The history. Yes, the story science fiction and also it includes a lot of aspects about time travel, uh, about uh, traveling to the space. Yeah. A really good movie yes. from Christopher Nolan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Good option. Maritza, and then we go with David. I like it, the movie Sixteen Witches. Mm -hmm. uh, Teenagers Witches, 
magical come true on her 16th birthday. But then things get out of control and everything returns up to normal. Okay, it sounds really interesting about New Year's. Thank you. 16 witches. I didn't, I have never listened about, I have never heard about that movie. Sounds interesting. Thank you, Maritza. Good, good options. Okay, David, and then we go with John. Okay, teacher, uh, I love the I love the new the movie Independence Day mm -hmm. with the actor Will Smith. Uh, oh, yeah. I love why we talk about the a war between two wars worlds and win uh, all the country on earth unit and defend defeat the invader. Uh, mm -hmm. There is there is drama and strategy, all also unity. Yeah, and very good uh, science fiction effects, right? Special effects. Yeah, interesting movie. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Very good vocabulary because you mentioned about invaders that they were aliens, right? Uh, yeah. So a lot of shapes and all those things. Thank you, David. And John. What about you, my friend? You have a specific movie that you like, and then yes, yes, yeah. yes. How do you say? How do you say "género" in English, teacher? Ah, uh, you, you can. Okay. Um, if you're talking about male and female, cuando hablamos okay. de masculino y femenino decimos gender, pero cuando hablamos de género podría ser literario eh, de artístico, lo que sea, decimos genre, bien rara esa palabra, genre. Genre, genre, genre. ok. Um, I like uh, all the Resident Evil, all movies, um, my favorite uh, genre is horror. Horror, ok. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, that's based on a on a a game like a computer game, right? Or a like console game, video game, right? Uh, yes, but uh, I like the movies, uh, games. Uh, a little, a little watch. Okay. And the and the PlayStation games, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it's but no, only only movie, only movie in, in Netflix. I can see. Okay, yeah, from movies from Netflix. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's uh very interesting. I guess it's about zombies, right? Zombies, and yes, uh, that's a war between humans and zombies. Yeah, kind of interesting. Yes. Good, good scenes. Thank you, John. Let's listen to Daniel, and then you. we go with Christy. Okay, and um, really about this, uh, I like the movie, but I don't remember the name of the movie. Uh, I seen it, the uh, Fallen Awesome Fire. Okay, that's it. Uh, do you remember the genre? ¿Te recuerdas del género? Action. It's action, okay. Yeah, it's action. Thank you. Okay, maybe we can listen to Eduardo and then Guillermo. Uh, I'm sorry, Christy, Christy, Eduardo and Guillermo. Aha, aha. <laughs> okay, tell me. Uh, okay. Um, uh, depending on the season or my mood. Mm hmm um, I have several favorite movies. Uh, the genre, algo así, co ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Genre, genre, genre. genre. Uh -huh. For kids. Ah, for um, kids. Uh, género infantil. Uh, o la yeah, yeah. De niños. Yeah, cartoons okay. or maybe kids cartoons. movies. Cartoons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, es... Turbo, it's from a snail. Mm, a snail, he's uh, very slow, and, right? And, yes. 
eh, la de action de transporter ok and I loved it loved those for Jackie Chan and Denzel Washington yeah good actors yeah they have good movies definitely I love yes. them okay thank you Chrissy good 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 options because you also mentioned uh, actors thank you what about now if we listen Eduardo and Guillermo? Okay, Eduardo, you have anyone in special? Uh, anyone's movie? Mm -hmm. I say Interstellar. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't I didn't put you here. Thank you. Yeah, Interstellar, okay. how? Thank you, from Christopher Nolan. Uh, Guillermo, and then we go with... Gustavo, okay, Guillermo, do you have your favorite movie? Mm, yes, I think that almost all the movies of Star Wars. Yeah. Like that kind of, of movies for the, you know, the history. Okay, that yeah. That they think... have in... Cartoon movies, I uh, would say that I love Spirit. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, Star Wars, it's a very uh, huge universe. A lot of stories in there. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people, no, well, not a lot, but there are people who don't like it. But in my opinion, Star Wars, it's one of the best sagas in the world. Thank you. Guillermo, maybe we can listen now to, well, you have some other, Gustavo yeah, and Katia, please, Gustavo. Okay, teacher, este, I, I don't really like watching this movie, hmm? but, but uh, sometimes I've been seeing comedy uh, movies, for example, a scary, a scary movie. <laughs> okay. And, an action movie, but I don't have favor, favorite. Mm -hmm. You don't have favorite, but well, okay, yeah, comedy movies will be like uh, your uh, general. Okay, maybe a uh, Katia. Yes, the movie I love is Romeo plus Juliet. It's the really in Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Ingenes. I like it a lot for two reasons. The first, my favorite actor, Leonardo DiCaprio, is the protagonist. Yep. And the second is because uh, Romeo and Juliet is my favorite literary work. And this film retains the original dialogue for the book, with the difference that it presents the Montesco and, the, and Capuletto has two- Families. Mm -hmm. Yes has two mafia drones empires, uh, which makes the movie somewhat modern. Mm -hmm. It's modern, but the conflict between the families is the, is the same, right? Yes. Yeah, kind of interesting. A movie, I have seen it. Yeah, I like it. Thank you, Katya. And um, what about if we go now with um, Rivas? And then Evelyn. Okay, Rivas. The Shadow of Love and Armageddon. The most interesting thing is the song. They are a classic of cinema. Yeah. Armageddon has maybe one of the best uh, soundtrack yeah, in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, nice. Evelyn and Oscar Daniel. Okay, man of five. With Denzel Washington, it's a pretty good acting movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, Denzel Washington can be like uh, the good guy and the bad guy. He's a really good actor. Yeah. And Oscar Daniel, are you there? And then Rosalie. Okay, teacher. Um, my favorite, favorite movie. 
is fury. Um, in Spanish is Corazones de Hierro. Okay. It is a, a war movie and uh, about the second world world war. Ah, okay. Yeah, I get it. I I guess I have seen some uh things about that Vicena. Thank you. Okay. Okay, perfect. Rosalie. And then we go with Luisa. Um, my film I love is One Day. One Day with uh, Hannaway and Jim Sturges. Mm -hmm. It is history. It is history romantic. Okay. And, and you're finally it's sad. Um, but I love is um, I may cry. <laughs> oh, you cried on that movie. Yeah. And um, it's very, very beautiful for me. Yeah, okay. Good for you because you could enjoy that movie. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Rosalie. And Luisa and Andre, and we finish. Okay, Luisa? Okay, Kishev. The name of the movie is Cali. It's a Christian movie. Mm -hmm. It's a, from a family that takes the there of the relative the father takes refuge in the world and forget his children has a little here of five years and this check the attention of other looking for friends her uh and an old person go noble is spoke to her because he's a very angry mm -hmm. and the hears really her many times but does not have um and with the French of the man of reality, perdón. Okay. Uh, reality that they like that because he also loves was his wife. In the end, the he helps the love to change her attitude in life and the wish of their pickers. <laughs> Very good description, and it's especially because it's a Christian movie. So the message is really, really nice. And it's not that common, right? But good. Um, okay, we're going to do the last activity. And for this, thank you. Uh, we talked about film that we like. And we're going to check this. Okay, related to uh, bossy verbs, okay, the imperatives. And we have to uh, make complete sentences by filling the gaps with the words and phrases from the box. Use each word or phrase once. Solo una vez se puede utilizar cualquiera de estas frases. Okay. And let me check here. Okay. Turn left, come in, don't wait, don't forget, stop the car, don't be late, pass, don't listen, have, help me, open, come, catch, take, go. If you notice, uh, they are easy verbs, not complicated verbs, easy verbs. So I'm going to give you uh, one minute just to check these sentences and try to have three or four options, okay? We're going to complete it and we're going to say goodbye. Please check these sentences. Teacher. Puede hacerlo un poquito más grande, porfa.
Okay, let's start and we say goodbye after this. Any volunteers? So we can start. Guillermo, as always, the first. Uh, yeah, tell me what number. Number two, don't mm -hmm. wait for me. I'm not coming tonight. Okay, don't wait. Okay. Just let me check something. Okay, don't wait for me. Thank you. And we go with David and then John. Okay, David. What number? Number one, teacher. Number one. Mm -hmm. Go to the go to bed. It's late. Okay, go to bed. It's late. Thank you. John and Christina. Uh, maybe uh, help me. I can swim. Okay, help me. And uh, what number? Eleven, right? Eleven. Okay, help me. I can swim. Thank you. Uh, after John, we go with Christy and Daniel. Okay. Number four, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's go oh, with number four. Open your books at page eight. Oh, okay. Open number four. Uh, you know it because you're a teacher, of course. Thank you, Christina. Uh, yes. You're, you're a specialist. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Daniel and Evelyn. Um. Uh, come in and have a glass of lemonade. What number? Uh, and number 13. 13. Okay, come in and have a glass of lemonade. Thank you. And Evelyn and then Rosalie. Number three. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to me particularly. Okay, don't forget to my part, please. Okay. Okay, let's do it here. Vamos a ver si. Don't forget. Okay, thank you. And what about Rosalie? Number 14 mm -hmm. is stop the car. There's a cat in the road. Okay. Guillermo, you have other, right? Yes, no, number eight. Take a rest. You look uh, you look tired. Mm -hmm. Take a rest. You look tired. What number did you say? I'm sorry. Number eight. Eight. Take a rest, you look tired. Okay, Katia, please. Number nine. Okay. Don't be late. The bus 11 at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. no, okay, thank you, John. Number five. Um... Uh -huh. Number five. Pass an umbrella with you. It's raining. Okay, let's see. Pass an umbrella with you. Okay, could it be? Thank you. Okay, my friends. I don't know if, if there is another. Porque ya estamos por terminar. Okay. Teacher, y, uh, um, yo, había, oh. yo había escrito have an umbrella with you. Have an umbrella, okay. There has yes, some other. Uh, Maybe. Number, number six is pass the song, please. Okay, yeah, yeah. that could it be. <laughs> pass, yeah, could it be, yeah, pass the song, please. 
Okay, my friends. One minute to finish. Um, I know it's you know you want to com continue completing these imperatives. Guillermo, the last one. We say number goodbye. seven. Don't listen and to that song. It's terrible. <laughs> I guess we all have one song that we don't like it, or more than one song, right? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And it's time to say goodbye. Um, se me queda ahora Luisa. Puedes quedarte, Luisa, please. Luisa. Okay. Please. El resto me deja thumb up, pulgar arriba en el chat. Ya saben, ¿verdad? Cuando se nos va así un poquito el tiempo, es difícil. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Así como me lo están dejando Guillermo, Eduardo, que fue yo reviso, aquí paso lista, ¿ok? Y así avanzamos con el tiempo. See you, um, teacher. Good night. Ok. Bye, bye, my friends. Cristi, mañana con la canción. And the rest. Ok. A good night. Buenas noches. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, my friends. Solo se me queda lista. Bye. Thank you, my friends. Teacher, menciona a Ana Luisa que la sacó de la plataforma, que ahorita se conecta, dice. Ah, gracias. Sí. Bueno, quizás la plataforma se cerró. Ajá, bien extraño. Bueno, aquí voy a estar esperando. Gracias, John. Thank you for, for telling me. 